So the next thing we need to do is just reset the game variables on start. And there you go. And that does indeed work. Now, what we need to do is we need to go and make some of the art to this. Because right now, the game doesn't look very good. And a lot of programmers would stop right here and kind of think that everything is done. You always want to make sure that you're looking for something that looks good as well as uh, code uh, as code works well and codes well etc so let's create a new project here something along the lines of 300 by 300 and we'll go ahead and remove that and what we're going to do is we're going to go and add in um, a nice green color okay and we'll make this you know kind of a, a mossy green so more of kind of like a a dark green somewhere in here like that so I think that works out pretty well and what we're gonna do is we're going to make a cool looking text circle and you know we'll kinda just make it you know we won't make we'll make this one a little bit more sparse okay so we'll just kinda add in these uh, a whole bunch of these little ones in here and don't worry this all has a point so make sure your uh, your your whole item and your whole file kind of looks something along the lines of this. We'll select everything and then we'll go into our brush here and uh, we'll go to um, new brush and we also want an art brush. Okay. And you want to make sure the arrow is going to the right and push OK. Okay. Now that actually looks pretty good. And what we'll do is we'll add it a new layer. We'll hide that layer and in this new layer we'll create a ellipse tool right in the center okay and we'll go and add that around here and I think that looks kind of neat yeah so we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll do that and that looks pretty cool if you want to do it over again you're more than welcome to but yeah I think that's uh, starting to look pretty good and um, one thing uh, that I'm uh, looking to do uh, here is um, is make this so that it does look cool. All right, so let's do another one of these here, and let's pick a nice red color. Okay, of course we'll get rid of the stroke as well, and you know we can even almost make this. Now red's hard because this red doesn't look very good, but if you just kind of move off it just a bit, somewhere in this area, it looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and make that red. And what we'll do is we'll add in rectangles here. And, you know, you just need to kind of move these in, something like that. You know, move them up and around, maybe add in a few small ones. And, again, take a few seconds, pause the video, make one of these circles here. And we're going to make something exactly the same. Highlight everything, and then go to Art Brush. There we go. Make sure the arrow is going to the left. Add in a new layer. And there we go. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll add in a ellipse tool. Find the center, push Shift and Alt. Perfect. And what we'll do, of course, is we'll add in our little item here. And so there we go. That's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much that. So let's go ahead and let's export it. So I'm going to go Command Alt Shift S. And that is a good size. And we will put it to the desktop. We'll call this tech circle. And I think I ha I'm up to 12 or 15 now. I have a bunch of these. So I'm just going to do tech circle 12. And then we'll select the other layer here. OK. And then we'll save here. And we'll call this t uh, tech circle 13. OK. And there you go. All right, in the next tutorial, we'll add it in to Xcode. See you then.